Hello and welcome back to Registering Internationally. Today, we talk about registering musical works with collective management organizations in the U.S. While we will touch upon manual registrations, we will mostly talk about registering in batches using EBR and, more importantly, CWR. In most countries, we recommend that small publishers start with Django Music Publisher, free and open source music catalog management solution. But, not in the US, due to complicated situation with multiple PROs and their unusual rules. There are three or four or six or more, depending who is counting. We know that our software works with ASCAP, BMI and CESIC. It probably also works with others, but at this point we are not 100% sure. The rule says that if a writer is in ASCAP, then the original publisher must also be ASCAP affiliate, and so does an administrator or a sub-publisher. As a result, most publishers in the U.S. have multiple publishing entities, one in each PRO. DMP only supports a single original publisher, and having several instances does not work either. So, it only works for U.S. publishers who publish writers in just one of the PROs. But, you can register with HFA and MLC with it, something you cannot do with EBR, our next topic. EBR stands for Electronic Batch Registration, and it is an Excel-based format that can be used for registering with ASCAP and BMI in the U.S., and so can in Canada. There are pros and cons to using EBR. Well, one pro, you can register in batches and manage your data in Excel or one of the alternatives. There are many cons, but I'll cover only two. First, it only holds data about performance shares, not mechanical or sync. It does not work for HFA, MLC, nor for sub-publishers. Please note that the situation for Canada is slightly better, but that will be covered in our Canada video in several weeks. Second, it offers no built-in validation, so it is prone to errors. Sending bad data, receiving rejections, fixing, resending and getting new errors, it is a time-consuming process. But, if you are affiliated with multiple PROs, so you can't use DMP, this is the best free solution. Certainly better than entering the data manually. More than once. But, let's discuss commercial ones. Let me start with the elephant in the room, that green thing. Even in the basic plan, it allows registrations to all PROs, HFA, MLC, and data delivery to all sub-publishers who accept CWR. You can also register directly in many foreign societies. Of course, you must be affiliated first. And, it can import EBR. So if you have been using EBR for registrations, you can start by importing all of your existing data. What about other solutions? You should not even consider any software that does not produce technically valid CWR files. But, let me first explain CWR. It is a file format, shown here, used worldwide for registration of musical works. ASCAP, BMI, CESIC. HFA, and MLC accept it, as well as most societies worldwide. They will send acknowledgments in the same format. Your software must be able to process those acknowledgments, so you know if all went well or not. And, in the latter case, what went wrong? Creating a CWR file and delivering it is, in the best case scenario, half the process. It is important to do this correctly. Because if you do, then the royalty processing gets much simpler. No manual matching and what not. You take an incoming statement and produce outgoing statements. Okay, back to other software. Are there solutions that claim all of this? Yes, many. Do they deliver? Well, some do. Do they do it fast? Not in our book. But, spending time waiting for some processing to finish might be your thing. Here are the series about registering internationally, DMP, that green thing and CWR. Please share with music publishing professionals. Thanks. Keep watching.